It's me, Chris Fassion, Mr. Chris. I get to perform from my home, and you all get to help me perform from your home. Go ahead and say hi, Mr. Chris. Now say that on Espanol, in Spanish. Hola, Senor Chris. Ooh, muy bien. Now, en français, in French. Bonjour, Monsieur Chris. Ooh, très bien, très bien. Now say it with a British accent. Hello, Mr. Chris. Did you do that? I love that. You get to help me act out some stories today. Raise your hand if you read books. Raise your hand if some of you are learning how to read all by yourself. Raise your hand if you read books with your moms and dads or grandma, grandpa. Excellent. I'm not going to read to you. I am an actor. As Miss Michelle said, I get to act out stories brought to life using lots. Oh, we are going to use lots. And uh, wait a minute. Lots. Uh oh, uh oh. Wait. Uh, ah! Uh oh. Uh, lots and lots of. Uh, oh. Imagination. Oh! Raise your hand if you brought your imagination with you. Did you? Did you have it? I brought some imagination and something a little silly. Look at this. Just a little silly. You want to see something twice as silly? Okay, here we go. Twice as silly. Now you try it at home. Yes, you can do this. Oh, that looks good. Come on, parents, show me what you got. Oh, I brought something for you. I found some books in my library that taught me how to juggle. Hey, I'll give you a quick lesson. You can juggle too. All you have to remember when you juggle, just like baseball, always keep your eyes open. I, oh, and on the ball, on the ball, on the ball. Oh, oh you got three juggling balls. Don't take your eye off the ball. Don't take your, never take your eye off the, come here. Never take your, oh, oh, come on. Sometimes oh, they go this way, that way, or this way, or back and forth this way and that way. Oh, oh, don't take your eye off the ball, or it might look a little bit different than a minute ago. Oh, and when you juggle, don't let distractions bother you. And wash your hands a lot too. Oh, smart kids in Arundel County, Maryland. Use your head. Oh yeah, use your head. Moms and dads tell you to use your head. Look, mom, look, dad, I'm using my head. See, this is smart juggling. This it's four years of liberal arts education right here. Oh, the amazing, incredible round the head. Oh, I don't think I'm fooling you. How about on a string? Aha, the imaginary string between the two juggling balls. And now we'll go a little bit faster. Off the knee. Uh oh, wait, way up high. Big finish. It's subtle. Blah. Oh, you were watching. Did you see where I, Mr. Chris Bastion, put the other juggling ball? Yes, I did. I put it in my pocket, right? Wait a minute. What's this? Hold on. What do you make of this? What do you make of this? What do you make of this? Use your imagination. You can make whatever you want. It could be. It might be. A baseball bat. Can you guess what it is now? Ahoy, matey. I see out there a telescope. A, ah, a telescope. Wait a minute. Can you guess what it is now? Uh-huh. Hairbrush or a comb? You're right. How about this one? A toothbrush. Although parents, I think we should call them teeth brushes. You're supposed to get them all. Hey kids, remember when you do schoolwork, you might use a uh, pencil or an artist might use one of these. Can you guess? Can you guess? Paintbrush. How about this? You have to really pretend. Use your imagination. <laughs> Did you say unicorn? You're right. Now here's a hard one. Here's a tough one. I may stump everyone on this one. Can you guess? Can you guess? Violin is a good guess. It's a viola. How about this? A flute. Trumpet. It could even be. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Can you guess? Can you guess? Acoustic or electric? Electric guitar, that's right, because Townsend, who? Yeah, Pete Townsend, who? Yeah, who? Yeah. I'm the oldest one here, aren't I? Oh, wait, I know, this is, you know what this is? I'll show you, it's the other half of this. Binoculars, ah, what's up, Doc? 
How about these? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, merrily. Did you say paddle? Who said paddle? Raise your hand. Good, up, or. There's another word like paddle. Paddle or what? Like a paddle or it pushes the water. Like a paddle or what? Or, that's okay. I have one. I have two. Oh, I have, wait a minute. Three juggling pins. Oh, the juggling books taught me how to juggle. Hey, they work. This is pretty fun. Oh yes, practice makes better. But wah! Uh oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, that went the Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, that went way up high. Uh, watch the ceiling. Hey, come back here. Oh, should we try some fancy juggling? Uh, under the leg. Woo! Under the other leg. Oh! Behind the back. Whoa! Behind the other back. Wait a minute. How many backs do I have? Just the one, okay. And boy, is that an itchy back. Hey, I know what I wanted to ask all of you wonderful readers from Anne Arundel County, Maryland. Raise your hand if any of you have ever in your life taken a bath. A bath in a bathtub. Anyone? Hoping to see most hands. Oh, I know, older kids, you're on the showers. I know, we parents, we're under the quick three minute shower. I have a story. Oh, I love this book. I have a book, a story about a man, a man who loves, loves to take a bath. He likes to take a bath so much. Hey, wait a minute. He never wants to get out of the bathtub. This is no ordinary man, oh no. This is a story about the king, the king, the king. Thank you very much, thank you very much, very much. And the story is called King Bid Goods in the Bathtub and He Won't Get Out. You can help tell this story by Don and Audrey Wood. I love this book. Every time I say King Bid Goods in the Bathtub and He Won't Get Out, you say it too, okay? Here we go. King Bid Goods in the Bathtub and He Won't Get Out. Excellent. Make sure you take your thumb, everyone, right from home. You can do this. Make sure you point, King Bid Goods in the bathtub, open hand, and he won't get out. One more time, use the hands. King Bid Goods in the bathtub, and he won't get out. Excellent, the story about the king, the king, thank you very much, thank you very much, who loves to take a bath. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Oh, I know. Ahem. Ahem. Hello. Oh, shh. I know. I will just. I will go in and I will tell him to. <laughs> Oh my! Help! Help! cried the page when the sun came up. Get your thumbs ready. Here we go. King bid goods in the bathtub and he won't get out. Good! Who knows what to do? Who knows what to do? I know what to do! <laughs> cried the knight when the sun came up. Watch this, everyone! King, get out of the bathtub. It's time Shh. to fence, thrust, parry, touche. Touche is a French word for touche. Come in, cried the king with a boom, boom, boom. Today we fence in the bathtub. Le, 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 le. On guard! Help grab the page when the sun. Hey, grab your fan, everyone. It's the sun. That's right, Anne Arundel County. It's summer. It's August. The sun is hot. Although, kids, you know, it's not so much the heat. It's the humidity. Say with me, King Bid Goods in the bathtub and he won't get out. Good. Who knows what to do? Who knows what I do? cried the queen of the queen. Hello. Yes, of the queen. You can
you practice your royal wave, very subtle, it's all in the wrist. Hello! A, and a king, darling. Get out of the bathtub, dear. Out of the tub, dear. Now, dear, it's time. Can you guess, children? Thank you. Mm. Yes, it's time to eat lunch. Let them eat cake. Come in, quite the king with a yum, yum, yum. Today we lunch in the bathtub. Le, 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 le. Oh, good cake. Help cried the page oh, when the sun sank low. It's getting late. Can you say it fast? King Bid gets in the bath, but he won't get up. Who can go fast like me? King Bid gets in the bath, but he won't get up. Stay with me. King Bid gets in the bath, but he won't get up. Super duper fast. Go. King Bid gets in the bath, but he won't get up. Who knows what to do? Oh, I know. I know. I know. What to do? Said the old duke. The old duke. When the sun sank low, King get out of the bathtub. It's time. Can you guess, children? <sharp inhale> time to go fishing. Excellent pantomime identification skills, kids. Time to go fishing. Come in, cried the king with a... Uh, what kind of fish do you guys like? Salmon or tilapia? Bass? Perch? Oh, Maryland. <laughs> Crabs, okay. Here we go, he says with that crab, crab, crab. Today we fish in the bathtub. Le, 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 le. Oh, they hooked a seven year old. Oh, help, cried the page. When the night got dark, how loudly can you say it? Loudly? Wait, can we be loud? This is a library show. Can we be loud? Knock yourself out. King Big is in the bathtub and he won't get out. Did you feel a little bit naughty? Who knows what to do? We know, we know, we know what to do, cried everyone in the kingdom. Hey, King, get out, get out. Get out. It's time, time, time. It's time. And how many of you at home, you ready? How many of you there can do this? It's time to masquerade ball. Costumed dance. That is excellent, kids. You're all invited. Parents, you just start here and flip it over. Come in, cried the king with a jig, jig, jig. Tonight we dance. Can you guess who the king's going to dance? In the bathtub. Hop in, everyone. Follow me. Here we go. Wash your arms. Wash your arms. Wash your hands. Always wash your hands. We're doing a lot of good hand washing. I like that. Uh, Wash your hair. Listen carefully. Wash behind your right ear. Your right ear. Okay, your other right ear. Wash your nose. Your chin. Wash your cheeks. These, these cheeks up here. Yes, elbows. Wash your elbows. Knees, knees. And toes. Knees and toes. Knees and toes. Knees and toes. Wash your belly button. Belly button. I say belly button. Orange County kids say navel. One last time, say it with me. King Bid goes in the bathtub and he won't get up. Who knows what to do? Who knows what to do? Who knows what to do? I know what to do, said the page. Oh, not the page you read, not the page in the book. Page is also the name of the man who helps the king. I know what to do, said the page, when the moon, can you all point to where the moon would be? When the, oh, not down there, when the, oh, not over there, uh, wait. Yes, when the big, beautiful, full moon shone brightly up there in the sky at night, the page, that's me, quietly tiptoed back towards the bathroom and quietly the page opened the bathroom. Hey, can all of you help me make a squeaky door sound? Good. And quietly the page reached down into the bathtub behind the king. Have you figured it out? And the page 
pulled the plug. Oh, and when the page pulled the plug, guess what? The water in the bathtub went. Down the drain, glub, glub, glub. And when the water went down the drain, the king finally got out of the tub and ran away. There he goes. Goodbye, king. Thanks for leaving. Oh, wait, king. Get dressed. King did go in the bathtub and he did get out. Thanks to all of you Anne Arundel County, Maryland Library patrons working together. The end. Oh, you guys were good. Give yourself a round of applause now. That's right. We did it. We all are in this together. Well, maybe not all in the bathtub together. There's not enough room. Oh, but you know, you can't have a bath without what? Water. Soap is good too. Raise your hand. How about shampoo for your hair? Shampoo, yes. How about conditioner for your hair? <laughs> conditioner. Conditioner. The girls say yes. The boys say what? Have fun when you take a bath or shower, but please don't be like the king. Don't stay in all day. We got the king out just in time, just before he turned into a giant raisin, or worse, a pr dry plum. Raise your hand, kids, if you've ever been in the water so long. When you get out of the water, you look at your fingers and they're wrinkly. I know, it's silly, isn't it? King Bid goes in the bathtub and he won't get out. King Bid goes in the library. He's running around the Anne Arundel County Library System? No, but the book written and illustrated by my friends Don and Audrey Wood. What a great book. Beautiful illustrations at the library. You can check it out. Who say with me? Check it out. Good, now fold your arms. And please say it the way we do here in Chicago. Check it out. Check this out. I have an old story I love to tell. It's a story that may not be true. It's a folk tale. Raise your hand if you're familiar with folk tale stories. Old stories, fiction may not be true, but a folk tale teaches a lesson, a moral to the story. Raise your hand if any of you ever feel tired. I'm looking right at the parents on this one. Raise your hand if you ever have a tough day. Back to the caregivers. Raise your hand if you ever hear too much noise. Library staff, hang in there on the tough days. If it's too noisy, things may not be as bad as you think. We'll get through it. We'll be okay. Maybe things aren't as bad as they could be. I love this old Ukrainian folktale. Ukrainian from the country of Ukraine. Ukraine. Ukraine? I crane. We should all crane. This story is called Too Much Noise, or the Yiddish version, <coughs> it could always be worse. Say that with me. It could always be worse, and you can help me tell this story. You did great with King Bidgood in Too Much Noise, it could always be worse. You get to take your hands over your head like this and make the sound of the wind blowing through the trees go Second noisy sound you can make right from your home. Can you snap your fingers? We well, could all try. I'm not very good at that. I'm, I'm practicing. Practice makes better. If you can snap your fingers, you're now making the sound of raindrops. Raindrops! If you can't snap, that's okay. Just, just put your hands out there, smile, and don't look down. Just sell it. Oh, think of a good rain song, parents. Raindrops keep falling on my head. Hey kids, raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. Yes, these are a few of my favorite things. Oh, tap your head, everyone tap your head gently now. Be gentle, that's important stuff up there. Yes, now your shoulders, a little bit louder now. Oh, a little bit louder now. Oh, a little bit louder now. Oh yeah, you're a little bit softer now. Finally, you get to make these three nifty knocking noises. Go with me. 
good. Put it all together. The wind blows. Yes. When the rain comes, you run and hide your head. The Beatles. Check with your grandparents. Oh, a little louder now. Tap your head a little louder now. Here we go. A little louder now. A little louder now. Yay. A little bit softer now. Three knots. Good. I know we can't be loud like this every day at home. And certainly not at the library when we get back. But oh, when it's your turn in the story, too much noise. It could always be worse. Have fun. Be loud. Oh, did you know? that there was once a very tired farmer. Excuse me, hello, good afternoon, hello, how are you? I am a farmer, I'm very tired. I wake up early, I work all day, I need to sleep. Good night, good night, good night. And quietly the farmer lay down in his bed to sleep. Wait kids, raise your hand if you think the farmer did not fall asleep. You were right, he did not sleep. Because when the farmer's tired head hit the pillow outside the window, farmer heard the sound. You ready? Of the wind blowing through the trees. Let me see you. That looks good. Oh, and then came the raindrops. Oh, gently at first. Oh, that's not so bad, but leave it louder now. Leave it louder now. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, leave it louder. Here we go. Oh, leave it louder now. Hey, hey, hey. Did you do that? I love that. Oh, three knots. Excuse me, wait a minute, Anne Arundel County, you're wonderful, but there's too much noise. How can I sleep? I hear wind and rain and knocking and I need help. I know, I will see the wise man. The wise man of Anne Arundel County will help me. Now kids, at home, you play the wise man part. Fold your arms. You look very wise already. Add some attitude, nice attitude. And consult your wise man beard. Check out the beard. And the wise man tells the farmer to bring the rooster into the house. I'm sorry, excuse me? Bring the rooster inside my house. My house, the rooster in my house. I never heard of a rooster in a house. You want me to bring my rooster inside my house? You are the wise man, you know what to do. So the farmer went home. Come here, rooster, come here. Come on, inside, here we go. Uh -uh. Into my living room. The rooster's in my living room. Good night, good night, good night. Again, the farmer lay down to sleep. But again, outside, that's right. The wind blew. Shh, yes. And again, the raindrops came. Ooh, gently at first. I like that. That's not so bad. Oh, a little louder now. A little louder now. Oh, a little louder now. Hey, hey. That's for me. Three knots. But guess what else the farmer now heard? Right inside his house. Can you make the sound of a loud rooster? Good morning. That's a loud rooster. There's too much noise. I need to see the wise man. That's you, wise man. Kids, looking wise, that's good. Consult the beard. Consult. The beard is growing. The beard is growing. Oh, it's a long beard. It's like a Santa Claus beard. Oh, or a Harry Potter beard. Yes, Dumbledore beard. No, no, ZZ Top. ZZ Top beard, I think. Yes, wise man tells the farmer to bring the sheep inside the house. Wait, excuse me, what? The sheep inside my house. The wise man, you said for me to bring my rooster. I brought the rooster. Now, now the sheep too? But the wise man did not stop with the rooster and the sheep. He asked the farmer if the farmer had a cow. A cow? A cow? Oh no. Oh no, no, please don't tell me. You want me to bring my cow inside my house. I never heard of a rooster, sheep, and cow in a house, but you are wise. You know what to do. So the farmer went back to the barn. Give me a sheep inside the house. Come on, the wise man said to bring the sheep. The sheep is inside with the rooster. Come on, cow. We have to bring you in. Here we go. Bring the cow. Ah, come here, cow. Into ah, come on, cow. Mm, it's a very strong cow. A very, very strong. Ah, come here, cow. The cow inside the house with the sheep and the rooster. Good night, good night, good night. And do you know what happened when the farmer lay down? Show me the wind and the rain. Shower. Hey, 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 hey,
going up. Shout, we'll get to do a wedding. Three knots. Good, again, the rooster crowed. You are really starting to grow in that rooster roll now. But guess what else the farmer heard? The sound of the sheep. And let's not forget my favorite, the cow. You are wonderful, Anna Arundel, but there is too much noise. How can I sleep? Who should I see for help? You, wise man. That's right, kids. Quick, look wise. Quick, kids, you haven't shaved yet. Do we have any father times or Rip Van Winkles out there? Yes, big beard. <gasps> Raise your hand, kids, if you know what the wise man is going to tell the farmer to do now. He says, take the animals out. What? You want me to take the animals out? But wise man, with all due respect, you told me to bring my animals in. I brought the rooster, the sheep, and the cow inside. Now you want me to take the rooster, sheep, and cow back out? In and out. You are wise. I am confused. But I will do as you say. Hey, rooster, back to the barn. Come on. Here we go. Let's get the rooster in here. Back to the barn. Into the barn you go. The rooster's back. Come on, sheep. We'll put the sheep back inside, too. And the cow. Come on, cow. We have to... Ah! Come here, cow. It's a very, very... Ah! Come on, cow. Back to the barn. The, the cow and the sheep and the rooster, they're back in the barn. I, a tired farmer, I'm back in my house. And all of you kids can see that we are right back where we started, where we began, where we were. It looks that way. Wait a minute. Hold it. Maybe this tired farmer will now learn the lesson. The moral to this Ukrainian folk tale, you can clap three times. Say goodnight with me. Ready? Good night. Good night. Good night. Yes. And just as we began long ago, the tired I am so tired. The farmer lay down to try and sleep. But you know, outside, nothing had changed. Outside, things were still the same. Outside, that's right. One last time, the wind still blew. Shh. The rain still fell. Here we go. Ready? Hey, hey. Good, now in Spanish. Hey, hey, hey. And three of these. Listen, said the farmer, kids, I still hear wind and rain. I still hear knocking and hey. It's out there. But look here, right here in my house. Now inside my house, it seems so. Quiet, you're right, without my wonderful animals inside, making all that other racket, the noise outside doesn't seem so noisy. That noise isn't as bad as it could be. Hang in there on the tough days. We'll get through this together. We'll be okay. After all, it could always be worse. The and oh give yourselves a round of applause if you help mr chris here out oh i thank you for that oh you know the round of applause of course you do clap in a circle a circle is round it's a round of applause it's a preschool pun should we try square of applause try that oh you don't see that in anne arundel county every day triangle of applause all right we'll try a triangle of applause and just for fun you math savvy students Trapezoid of applause. Go ahead, knock yourself out with a trapezoid. A trapezoid. I don't know what that is either, but I do know that this story, too much noise, it could always be worse. Such a noise. Could anything be worse? There are many titles, different versions of that old folk tale at the libraries where you can find them. You can check it out. Say it with me. Check it out. Ow! Check this out. I, Mr. Chris Passione, have my own 
well-loved copy of Anne McGovern's Too Much Noise. I'll come a little bit closer and show you that you're right, it is an old copy of this story. This book is falling apart. That's because this was one of my very first books. I got this book when I was five years old. I was in kindergarten when I got this copy of Too Much Noise, which means that this book is now over 100 years old. Look on the inside. I have my book plate with my name on it, Chris F, F period. I couldn't spell my last name yet, it's long. My grandma gave me that book plate, so I know everyone knows whose book this is. One of my favorite books, this book taught me how to read. Oh, wait a minute. We have time for one last story. I love this book. Oh, this is great. This is a story. This is a story about a bus driver. A bus driver, yes, a bus driver um, and a pigeon. Hey, how you doing, huh? Hey, how you doing? Good to see you, pal. Good to see you. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Good to see you. Good morning. All right, is it afternoon already? Okay, good. Hey, neighbor, how you doing? Nice to see you. Hey, there you are, Anne Arundel County, Maryland. How you doing? Hey, I am great. I am the bus driver. They call me the bus driver because, hey, I drive the bus. I drive a beautiful school bus. I love driving the kids to school. Now, I know. I can't drive my bus right now. I can't wait to get back into that school bus though. We can use our imaginations today and you can pretend that my school bus is right here behind me. That's right. Can you guess what color my school bus is? Of course it's yellow. It's a yellow school bus. Or as my two year old nephew would say, Lello. Hey, would you kids do me the bus driver a favor? Would you keep your eye on the bus for me for a minute? I'll be right back. I have to go help my kids with some of their work. Hey, it's what we parents have been doing for the last five months, you know what I mean? All right, guys, I'm coming to help. What we got? Math. We're gonna work on our math, you know, mathematics. Oh, I like math, like adding and subtracting. Oh, multiplication tables. I'm really good on my times tables. Hey, I'll be right there. Okay, so kids, Keep your eye on my beautiful yellow school bus. I'll be right back. I really appreciate it. I'll be right back, okay? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I, oh, hey, I almost forgot the most important thing, huh? When you guys are watching my school bus, would you do me, the bus driver, do me a favor, okay? If a pigeon, that's right, a pigeon, if that pigeon comes here, and if that pigeon asks you if he can drive my bus, just say no, okay? Oh, I know when your mom asks you to do something, you say yes. And if your dad asks you to do something, you say yes. And grandma, grandpa, okay, okay, I'll do it, I'll do it, yes, yes. If your teacher or Miss Michelle at the library asks you to do something, you say yes. But if that pigeon comes here, and if that pigeon asks you if he can drive my bus, just say no. Okay, I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. All right, guys, I'm coming to help the math. What are we doing? Times tables? Calculus? What's calculus? I thought we were doing math.
I drive the bus? Please? Can I steer the bus? Can I play with the windshield wiper on the bus? Would your mom let me drive the bus? Would your dad let me drive it? Would your Aunt Harriet let me? Do you even have an Aunt Harriet? Let's play a game. It's called Drive the Bus. I will go first. But I want to drive the bus. 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 I will drive the bus. I will drive the bus. I will drive the bus. <laughs> Fine. If you don't want me to drive the bus, I won't drive the bus. Hey, can I drive a truck? Hey, <laughs> I, I, I got to sort a pigeon. Did the pigeon come in here? Did the pigeon ask you if he could drive the bus? What did you say? Raise your hand if you said no. Oh, thank you so much, boys and girls. Thanks for helping me, the bus driver. Pigeons are all right, but hey, never ever let the pigeon drive the bus. Hey, pigeon, that is my garden. Get out of my garden. Shoo, shoo, go, 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 go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I love that book. I, raise your hand if you're familiar with Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. Raise your hand if you're familiar with all of the wonderful pigeon books illustrated and written by Mo Willems. Mo Willems, we need more of Mo. Lots of great Mo Willems books at the library. Check them out. Hey, check this out. Miss Michelle had told you that I could teach you how to juggle. I'm going to juggle with three scarves. Although, you could use tissues from the tissue box. Here, I'll show you. One, two, three tissues from the tissue box. Now, we'll start with one tissue. You can try this at home. You try to pinch it right in the middle, throw it and catch it. Throw it and catch it. It'll float. You have to go get it. Now with two tissues, aha, uh -huh. you throw one, you throw two, you catch one, you catch two. You throw, throw, catch, catch, whoops. If it falls, pick it up and try it again. Whoa, come here. Throw, throw, catch, catch, crisscross applesauce. Make sure you keep your elbows up high. Throw, throw, catch, catch, crisscross applesauce. With three tissues, you throw, throw, catch, catch, crisscross applesauce. Woo! Wait a minute, one more time. One, we'll start with two. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Whoops! Crisscross applesauce. With three, keep going, keep going, keep going. Wah, wah, wah! It's a lot of fun and a lot of silly. The juggling scars are very pretty. Yes! Throw, throw, catch, catch, crisscross applesauce. Oh, hey, they work. You can do this too. It just takes practice. Oh, wait a minute. Here's something I want to show everyone. One last bit of juggling with the three juggling balls. I don't think I showed you this at the beginning. So let me take these three orange plastic juggling balls. Wait, what? I'm sorry, wait, what? What, what are you saying? The one plastic juggling ball, two plastic juggling balls, and da! Ah! You're right. One of these is not like the other two. Can you see that? You're right. It is an apple, an apple. Oh, I have an idea. This will be fun. I could try to take a bite out of one of these while I'm juggling the other two. Which one? The apple, that's a healthy choice. Oh, wait a minute, there's a big long stem on the apple and I could take a minute here first to remove the stem for two reasons. First, I don't wanna choke on the stem. And secondly, I'd like to invite all the adults to go back to third grade with me. 
A, B, C, go ahead to T, ooh, T, Trish, ooh, we would share lunch a lot. One, two, three, take a bite out of the red apple. One, juggling the orange plastic ones, here we go. Oh yes, lots of concentration here, here we go. Okay, ah, hold on. Ah, now, ah, now, 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 now. Ow, oh, it's hard to do. Raise your hand, kids, if you've ever been asked to do something that was hard to do. I know sometimes the first time that you try something new, it's hard. But if you keep practicing, sometimes it gets a lot easier. In fact, practice makes well, makes better, you're right. And don't give up when you're doing something new. Keep trying, remember, if at first you don't succeed, try out, try out, try again. Oh, mm, hey. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Delicious. I know. I should never talk with my mouth. Oh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, oh. Mm, 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 mm. I think I need to floss. Oh, mm. That's a delicious apple. Raise your hand if you like apples. Mm, mm, mm. Apples to juggle, juggle with tissues. You can practice at home, juggling books you can find through the library, not far from Mo Willems' books, Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus, not far from the folk tales, too much noise, it could always be worse. And don't forget, King Bid goes in the bathtub and he won't get out, or will he? Check it out. I wanna thank all of you guys for watching me. Chris Passione, coming to you all the way from Oak Park, Illinois. That's right. I'm out here by Chicago. You're over there in Anne Arundel County. Be well. Remember, keep reading. Keep washing your hands. That's right. And keep working on this, will ya? That's all for me, Mr. Chris. Go ahead and say goodbye, Mr. Chris. Goodbye, Hi, Mr. Chris. Thank you, Miss Michelle. Thank you so much.